that you see only here on CNN, more than 200 million gallons of crude oil spilled into the Gulf. And for weeks, the big question has been, where is all that oil? This morning, CNN may finally be getting answers, and the news is not good. University of South Florida researchers tell us they have discovered the oil on the ocean floor well east of the spill site. Here it is in a graphic just 40 miles south of Panama City Beach. Researchers say that it lights up like a, quote, constellation of little dots when it's hit by ultraviolet light. That chemical mix of oil and dispersant said to be highly toxic to marine life. And we're the first to get this information to you this morning. Our Ed Lavendera live in St. Petersburg, Florida, with more on this CNN exclusive. Ed, what are uh, some of the other details this morning of this discovery? Well, good morning, John and Kieran. The University of South Florida Science to say any suggestion that this oil, just because it's out of sight, should be out of mind, couldn't be any further from the reality of what the Gulf waters are dealing with right now. In fact, they say now that they've just returned from this 10-day mission out in the Gulf waters to study the oil spill, they say for the first time they're finding toxicity levels in the waters that are affecting crucial marine organisms. This is the Weatherbird 2, a research vessel that has been used by the University of South Florida for the last 10 days investigating the oil spill. Some 13 scientists have been on board and they're just now coming home to St. Petersburg. So what's in these containers right here? Water in here has been, uh, was collected from 50 meters. David Hollander was one of the lead researchers on the mission. Do you feel like you're kind of on the, on the verge of really getting a better understanding of what's going on underneath the water? Oh, I think we're adding to the puzzle. We're adding to the pieces of the puzzle. Is where we found the sedimentary oil. Hollander and another expert on the journey, John Paul, sat down with CNN for an exclusive review of their findings. The USF scientists say they found toxic levels of oil and dispersants infecting marine organisms just 40 miles south of Panama City, Florida. The organisms called phytoplankton and other microscopic bacteria in the ocean are the foundation of the food chain. What feeds and fuels the uh, ecology of the ocean. And if those guys are in trouble, then the ocean's in trouble. So far, federal government scientists have downplayed the impact of microscopic oil making its way up the food chain. This is what the head of the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration said earlier this month. Fish will degrade that oil and process it naturally. And so it doesn't bioaccumulate. So it's not a situation where we need to be concerned about that. Over time, it will be broken down. USF scientists tell CNN that is a short-sighted view of the danger. NOAA officials haven't responded to these latest scientific findings. The 10-day mission in the Gulf of Mexico was a rocky voyage. The scientists were battered with 12-foot seas and strong storms, taking them within 25 miles of the Deepwater Horizon spill site. All along the way, they found microscopic droplets of oil on the ocean floor. Here is a sedimentary record from an area that's uh, about 1,500 meters water depth, okay. right adjacent to the deep water horizon. Using UV light on the sediment, the microscopic oil stands out easily. You can see them all spread out all over. There's no reflection, some of those were before, but this is all speckled. And when you turn off the light completely, it looks like the southern sky. It looks like a constellation of stars. It looks like a constellation of stars. But most troubling to David Hollander is evidence that the submerged oil is making its way through a region of the Gulf of Mexico known as the DeSoto Canyon. The canyon stretches from just east of the Deepwater Horizon spill site to an area south of Panama City. So the concern is not only that you found the droplets of oil widespread, uh, is but where you found it. Yeah, it's becoming now into these areas that are critical marine protected areas, critical habitats for commercial and recreational fish. Now, BP officials tell us they want to know everything everyone wants to know about this oil spill and that they've uh, funded some $500 million to study the long-term impacts of all of this. They haven't had a chance to see these specific findings from this recent mission. Uh, but now scientists at the University of South Florida, as you saw there, are unloading all of that scientific evidence uh, last night here in St. Petersburg. They will begin the process of uh, taking even a closer look at all the evidence that they brought back from this mission. John and Kieran? Do they have any idea, Ed, how long it will take for this oil to break down? 
Well, you know, that's the interesting thing. They say that other scientists have now come up uh, with, with a body of work that suggests that the natural occurring microbes in the Gulf of Mexico might not be able to break down this oil as quickly as originally thought. Uh, that the depth at which this uh, oil is, is sitting at this point is breaking down much slower. So they worry about the overall time exposure, how long all of this marine life will be, will be exposed uh, to this amount of oil in the Gulf of Mexico. And they worry about what the impacts of that will be. And they wouldn't be able to see it for another three or four years in the life cycles of, of the fish that, and the shrimp that we like to eat out of the Gulf. Ed Lavendera for us this morning with that. Ed, thanks so much. CNN exclusive this morning from St. Petersburg.